Hi boys and girls, please turn to page 193 in your Journeys Reader's Notebook, Grade 1, Volume 2, Practice Book. We're going to get our work done. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trying hard every day to build on your skills. Okay, we're going to be planning a little, I guess, opinion paper right here. And I'm going to be sharing my opinion. In the book, it it shows a page, it looks like this, about the mean robins, right? And they wrote their opinion about the mean robins, how they laughed at frog and toad, they were noisy, they were rude, they were calling their kite junk. And then this person said, you can't see that person, they said they would not like to be friends with those mean robins. And guess what? I wouldn't either. So disrespectful. So we are going to write a different opinion. Um, actually, I'm going to write my opinion. You can write what your opinion is. But my opinion is that frog is a good friend. So that's going to be like my topic sentence. Frog is a good, and I'm going to capitalize good friend. And why do I think that? I have to give you some reasons why, right? Give you some details. Okay, well, first reason is um, he wouldn't let Toad give up. So I'm going to write that down. Even though those, those birds were dissing their kite, he wouldn't let... toad give up. A good friend is someone that's going to encourage you and tell you to keep on trying. He wouldn't let toad give up. Good friend's not going to say mean things to make you think that you have no um, competence, no way of doing something. They're going to encourage you to keep on trying. So that's my first reason. Frog is a good friend. Why? Because he wouldn't let Toad give up. And why else was he a good friend? He kept giving him reasons to, um, well, not reasons, I'm sorry. He kept giving him ideas on, on what to try to make that, that kite fly. So how would I just say that? Um... He kept giving Toad ideas on getting that kite up. Okay, I just write that. He kept giving because the robins weren't. They were just discouraging him. He kept giving Toad ideas on how to get the kite up. Okay, so I gave you my topic sentence. Frog is a good friend. And then I here are my two reasons, my two detail sentences. He wouldn't let Toad give up. He kept giving Toad ideas on how to get the kite up. And do you guys remember at the end? They were celebrating. They were going, we did it. So a good friend will keep you encouraged so that you guys can celebrate at the end. So closing sentence is just a, I have to restate this in a different way. So frog is a good friend. I'm going to say frog. I want to say uh, frog is an amazing friend. When you get a friend like that, that respects you and that wants the best for you, you want to keep that friend. Frog is an amazing friend. Okay, well, this is going to take you some time if you're writing my 
my opinion. So you might want to stop it right here because we're moving on. Okay, page 193, done. Okay, we're going to be spelling words with I-G-H, Y, and I-E. Remember, I-G-H, Y, and I-E make, they spell what? They spell the I sound, like on the ice cream card. All right, so we're just going to do it. Please turn on the cried. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this a little bit higher for you. Okay, right now it's going to look fuzzy, I think. Is that, is, that, is that as high as it goes? Okay, here we go. Please turn on the light. When Mrs. Gillum says light, Tomorrow, are you going to remember that the I sound in light is spelled with an I-G-H? Hope you remember light. Number two, have you seen my book? Have you seen try book, night book? Have you seen my book? It's my M. Mm, and what spells the long I sound? The ending Y. My. The baby fly in her crib. Nope. The baby dry in her crib. The baby cried in her crib. Cried. Hey, that's what babies do. So how are you going to spell the long I sound in cried when we take our test? K. Er. So that's a C-R, not a K-R. Cry, it's the I-E spelling for the long I sound. Cry, duh. Don't forget that. Cry, duh. Make sure to dry the dishes. Make sure to my the dishes. Make sure to light the dishes. Of course, it's dry. Make sure to dry the dishes. Dur, d, er. And what spells the I sound? The ending Y. Dry. We went to a great play last light. Night. Fly. We went to a great play last night. Okay, night sounds the best. Mm, I... Night. Okay, that's how you spell night. The I-G-H spells the I sound in night. Okay, so now we get to have, that was page 194. Now we get to have some practice, some pronoun practice. This is page 195. Okay. So, well, like, here are some pronouns. Pronouns take the place of the names of people, places, things, animals. So this is, instead of saying this is Mrs. Gillum's kite, I would say this is my kite. My kite. My is a pronoun. The kite is my, the kite is mine. We would use the word mine. That sounds the best. That bike is there. That bike is theirs. We would use the pronoun theirs. Are you guys getting this? That is their bike or that is theirs bike. <laughs> that is their bike. Good. This pencil belongs to his. This pencil belongs to him. Which one would you pick? Which sounds the best? Him. This pencil belongs to him. Him is a pronoun. This is his pencil. This is him pencil. This is his pencil. Okay, so you get the idea. Pronouns take the place of people, animals, things, places. 
So is the yellow kite your? Is the yellow kite yours? Of course, yours. Yours. Let's see. Y-O-U-R-S. Is the yellow kite yours? That is her kite. That is hers kite. Ooh, that hurt my ears when I did that one. So it's this one. That is her kite. If it doesn't sound right. Does it make your ears hurt a little? It just makes my ears annoyed. That is her kite. Rex put away he kite. Rex put away his kite. The correct pronoun is his. Rex put away his kite. We spell his H-I-S. Even though the S makes the Z sound, we spell that Z sound with an S. His. Would you like to play at my house? Would you like to play at mine house? It's my house. My. And finally, we went to their party. Whoops, party. We went to theirs party. Well, theirs makes me annoyed when I say it, so I'm going to choose their. We went to their party. When you spell their, you first spell the word the. Then you add an I and an R. Okay, well, that's it. That's it for our reader's notebook. <gasps> yeah, we'll be done. Okay, so we just finished with page 195. You can keep it right here and finish writing your answers. All right, bye-bye.